Hey guys, this is Tash, the Starcross Stitcher. Today is Friday, Mania the 19th. Thank God it's Friday, oh my gosh. It's the end of a long week at work, a long and boring week. We have a six week release cycle at the moment, so we're in the last two weeks of the six weeks and the engineering work is kind of finished up. Engineering development is done and it's sort of just in testing and deployment. So we're having a bit of a boring couple of weeks. Um, um, so I've been happy to get home and do some stitching today um, because I want to work on another project. I did two very small motifs. I did this little tiny bunny here. I did these two little topiaries and they're my two motifs for today. Um, I'm doing this. This is Anna Forest Group, by the way, by Rosewood Manor. I'm doing this as a stitch along with my mum. We're planning to do two motifs every Friday until it's finished. I think mum is way behind. Mum's um, Instagram is motif by hand. Um, so go and see her pictures if you want. She's started in the top left hand corner and she posted the same picture four times and she said look I've almost finished my four motifs. <laughs> um, yeah because she's way behind. Anyway let's get on to today's project which is Patchwork Sampler Tranquility by Stickadine von der Wienberg. Um, yeah and this is it. I started this in 2007 when it was being released as a mystery sampler with uh, weekly or monthly parts, I can't remember which. So I started it then and this is what I've done so far. Ta-da! I think this is really, really pretty. Um, I'm stitching it on 32 count opalescent Lugana in the colour Cashmere Glitz from Silk Weaver. Um, and it's a gorgeous colour, it's really pretty. It's just like a really nice sort of creamy tan colour um, and opalescent which I don't usually go for but I think for this piece it'll actually work. Um, these are not the call for colours, it calls for just DMC colours but I um, I think it was the first time I'd used Gentle Arts or Weeks Dye Works and I decided to just, I just grabbed a few colours in a rainbow and I decided I'll just pick a colour when I get to a motif I'll choose what colour I want to do and I'll do it. So yeah, this is what I've done so far. As you can see, what I'm about to do is move on to the centre motif here, which is a design in a circle around the outside and then um, in the middle like a plant. So I think I'll use this, which is Cytomel Brown for the circle around the outside. And then I'll grab this Peacock Blue, which I haven't used yet on this piece. Very pretty and I'll use that for the leaf in the middle. I might use this or I might use this bayberry colour again. Um, oh, it's very hard to open a floss away bag with one hand. <sighs> there we go. I didn't use my teeth. Don't worry about it, guys. It's fine. There we go. That'll be pretty, right? Yeah, maybe. Or maybe I'll use bayberry. Or maybe I'll use the really dark green, which is blue spruce. That one. I don't know. Oh well, you'll find out when I'm finished which one I've done. Um, this, as I re If I remember, I haven't stitched on this for a really long time, like 10 years. Well, 8 years maybe. Um, but I remember that this is really lovely to do, really fun. I love stitching over one on 32 count. I love subbing my own colours. The result is beautiful. Well, I think it is anyway. Um, yeah, so I'll put a picture on Instagram when I'm done tonight. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.